welcome. Welcome to another episode of Momentum Monday, the Supercharged with Emily podcast with me, Emily McHugh, your Supercharged coach and host. So today's topic is all about the reviewing of your mid-year review. It's your goal review for the year. It's kind of reaching the halfway point of the year. It's time to reflect on where you are. Are you on track? Are you where you want to be? And if so, that's what we're going to talk about today. So stay tuned as we supercharge your goal review. Okay, so welcome, welcome back to Supercharge with Emily Momentum Monday. MacBook Pro microphone. I hope you can hear me. You should be able to hear me. I hope so. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. I don't want to have anything that's not working. I think I'm okay. All right. I sure hope so. <laughs> All right. If not, you got to have to let me know. But today I wanted to give you a little tour of what I have a preview for you in our Supercharge newsletter. And by the way, if you're not a subscriber to the Supercharge uh, weekly newsletter, I invite you to do so. And all you have to do is go to um, emilymchugh.com forward slash free gift and you can get on the mailing list and receive the weekly newsletter. So today this is a preview because this is going to be going out you may see the video before you actually get the newsletter. So you have still some time to get on here and subscribe. So the whole idea is as this, we're reaching almost at June, June is upon us. Um, I have some questions to ask you. So I'm like, you know, do you feel like you're on track with your goals? Do you even remember what your goals are? <laughs> That is a very, very fair question indeed, because many times we have these good intentions. We start the year off with all these grandiose goals, and then we get so caught up with all the activity of our day-to-day -day activity that we, we can forget what our goals are. So I have this like goals book, okay? I mean, how much clearer could it be? It says goals. So I would imagine that would make it very clear. So if I keep this book in a prominent place, that should help me. I also have planning books. I have all kinds of planning books that I personally use. And I have no end of notebooks and things. And of course, I have the Supercharged Club Planner. And on the month of May, we're talking about our business formula. So we have our formula sheet here and with the weekly topics and also um, the overview for the formula for success, which comes with our workbook and our journal and a place to write your thoughts, you can see here. And this is all a part of the planning process. And I use different sheets from our planning guide to help us with figuring out, you know, where we want to focus. And I have this uh, daily check-in which lets me know, kind of checking in with myself, you know, how are things going with me? Am I on track? So the question is, are you using certain tools to help you do just that, to stay on track with your business? Now, let me make sure I click on the right place and move this in the right direction. Okay, so let's just look at a few thoughts. So I have a supercharged thought every week in the newsletter. And today's supercharged thought is from none other than Andrew Carnegie himself, the master of getting things done, the master of organizing his time and really being efficient as one of the foremost American entrepreneurs of all time. Well, actually, he was Scottish, but he, he became, you know, here in America. So supercharged thought, if you want to be happy, set a goal that commands your thoughts, liberates your energy and inspires your hopes. Wow, that's what your goals have to do. So instead of just being smart, measurable, achievable, and all of that, they have to really command your, your, your attention and liberate your energy that you really feel like you can unleash your energy on all of this activity, on your goals, that it's so inspiring to you that you want to use your energy toward it. And finally, that it inspires your hopes for the future. 
that you're working to something worthwhile, deserving of all this energy and time. And that's really critical because the last thing you want to think is, is this worth it? Am I wasting my time? Am I making the best use of my time? And anytime we feel like we're not, that is really always, you know, not, can be very demoralizing. So it really is important. That's why you want to check in with yourself. So I have three key tips here that I recommend as an implementation thing. So the first one is to keep a list of your goals or your key goals in a visible place that you don't forget where they are. Like you have somewhere you can go. You have a book that's called goals or something or another. You can actually find these goals and they're there. It could be a screensaver on your phone that you save. It could be a desktop screensaver. I mean, there are many different ways that you can remind yourself of what's important to you, but it is important to do that. So that's number one. The second thing is review on a regular basis, whether these goals are what you want. Like, am I doing what I want to be doing? Like, is this the same goal that I said I wanted to do? Do I want to continue with this goal? And thirdly, and extremely of extreme importance is review the priority sequence of your goals. Are you doing, performing your goals in the order of importance to you, like the order of priority? And this is our topic for June Supercharge Club. It's all about our priorities. We've spent the past six months going through different topics and different areas of our business on this entrepreneurial journey. And now we have to put it in a sequence of an order of how are you going to, what are you going to do first, second, and third? Now you could say, well, from January, I should know what that is. Well, you may start off in January with a certain sequence. Is that the same sequence in June or May? Or as you go through the year, have your priorities shifted or are they the same? And they can change. They don't have to be the same. It's all about what is important to you at the time you're working on it. So it's okay that it changes. It's not like you have to stick with this one goal and that's it. Sometimes our goals need reevaluation. So this is not about a judgment that you need to stick with the goal that you said you were going to do. You may want to abandon that goal. Try a new goal. Try a different goal that's more in alignment with your overall vision for yourself. And that really is one of the key, key points that I want to highlight. So those three things, again, I'll quickly recap. Have a visible list of where your goals are. You can see them. Review them to make sure they're still worth pursuing. And thirdly, review the sequence of priority so that you, you're spending your time in the way that you really want to do. And... Um, yeah, and then monitor your thinking. So check out the YouTube channel at, um, at Supercharge Coach to watch the videos. Like the last week, um, I did a video on thinking patterns, and that will help you to kind of remind you of your thoughts, which actually have a great impact on your goals. Because if you don't manage your thoughts, similar to the, the quote we just had, you're not able to really harness that energy. So um, it says, if you want to be happy, set a goal that commands your thoughts and your thoughts cannot be under control if they're being negative and they're being, you know, scattered. So really having a sense of what, you know, you're thinking about really helps you know if you're on track. So with that, I'm going to also invite you to check out, as you will see in the newsletter, I have launched a new podcast that I want to share with you. And just hold on, hang on a second. I'm going to show it to you right now. So this is my new podcast. It's the Emily McHugh. Okay, if I can get my cursor to cooperate with me, I can actually advance the screen. All right, here we go. Okay, so it's my Emily McHugh violinist um, pod, um, not podcast, YouTube channel. It's where I'm putting all of my violin videos that I've accumulated over the years. And literally, I have hundreds of them from playing at church or different functions or different events and so on. And so I've decided to put them all here together. And this is 
a goal that I have had for like many, many years and just never did it like almost a decade now, sitting on these videos, piling up on my phone and not implementing them. So I finally did that. So I invite you to check it out. This is a particularly interesting video. You're going to find it really funny. So I just want to thank you for being here today. And I hope that these points resonate with you and help you with um, tips for your goals. And I want you to stay tuned for an announcement of my upcoming podcast launch. I'll soon tell you the date, but it, it, it will be in June. And in the meantime, let me invite you to subscribe to the channel. Absolutely. Yes. And like. for another supercharged episode of Momentum Monday, supercharging with me, Emily, right here. Okay, have a great week.